Are you looking for a fast way to do an intro for your next video? Or maybe to do a teaser trailer for a video you're producing? Well, on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to use Insta Mode on Filmora 11. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here, thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now, this is a cool feature that's been added to Filmora 11. It allows you to take multiple clips and the software condenses it into a short teaser trailer, I guess is the best way to put it, or an intro. Maybe you're doing a YouTube video and you wanna spice up your intro a little bit. This is a way to do it with all these pre-made templates. And it's, again, my goal is to limit how much time I'm sitting in front of my computer editing so I can go out and create more content. This is one of those tools that's gonna help you do it. So enough of me talking, let's jump on the computer and see how easy this is. All right, so now we're on the computer. We've got Fillmore 11 up and running. And again, if you don't have a copy of Fillmore 11 yet, make sure you use the links in the description below for Mac or PC. Now, normally we go into, you know, right into create new project, but today we're gonna go and click on Insta mode right here. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna bring up a bunch of different templates that they have created over at Fillmore for you to use. So, Let's say we want to use a not grunge opener. Let's see. Um, so maybe you want to do an intro to your channel. So you can double click on it and it will download it. Then it will kind of give you a preview and ask you if you want to use that template. So what I have done and I got this one right here, this um, ink memories. So we're going to Click on that, say use template, and you'll see some of the other templates here that I've I've downloaded already through their site. You're gonna click on use template. It's gonna open up this screen here. Now this is where you're gonna import your media and the more clips, the better. So um, if you have short clips that you wanna to put together or maybe you just want the software to do it for you, this is gonna be the best way to do it, especially if you wanna do like a little quick intro for your YouTube channel. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna click on, let's see, we're gonna have uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're gonna click on those seven and see what happens. Now these are just random clips that I have that I use for different things, B-roll, stuff like that. So this isn't anything that I've shot myself. And so again, you can click on import more da um, more media here. And then as you go through this and it does its thing, you'll then be able to edit some stuff and, and words and stuff like that. So next, what you're gonna do is come down here and hit auto create. And it's gonna do its thing and we'll come right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so now that it's done, that was quick. I'm just gonna rewind this a little bit here. Rewind, drag the playhead back. So you got different elements here. You have um, music, you can swap the music out if you don't like it. Now this is mostly music that is on Filmora. Um, and you can search by different genres. You can add text and whatnot. And then you can also pick or add different um, Templates. So here's all our clips right down here. Broke them out. So this is what it looks like without me doing anything else to it. I didn't go into effects. I didn't change the music or anything like that. This is straight out of the box. And that's what it did for you. It gave you 45 seconds. Now, the less clips you have, the shorter the um, intro would be or whatever template you're using. So then you can go through here and you can edit stuff just by clicking on the different elements. And it will allow you to, to, to change 
things as you go through. So um, that's nice. You can change it, put it in whatever kind of wording you want. But what's great about this is if you're looking to do an intro and you got a bunch of random clips maybe, or even on this one here, I could have rearranged things a little bit to make more sense. You can definitely create that 10 or 12 second intro for your channel or whatever you're going to do. Maybe it's just a teaser video to some other project you're creating. So then next thing would be, we just click on the export button and it's again, going to bring you up to the normal export. So you can name it. You can go to the settings. You can go good, better, best. You can change the bit rates or, you know, what have you for your video and your audio. And then all you would do is hit okay. And for me, I'm just going to hit cancel because I don't really need to save this one. Another thing you can do is if it's a longer clip, uh, click on this little auto highlight, and then you can pick for TikTok, YouTube shorts, or custom. So that's also kind of a cool little feature when you're doing this is if you're doing like a teaser video to something, you could do the teaser video and then you could do this for TikTok. All right, so you can see how easy this is. This is something that anybody can do. The instant mode makes it super efficient for you to create intros to your videos that you're doing on YouTube, or maybe you've created a longer video and you wanna break up certain sections of that and turn that into a preview trailer. You can do all that with this using these design templates. And again, the goal is to limit our time when we're sitting in front of our computers editing our content. So. Hopefully you found this useful. If you are gonna use it, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're gonna use it and leave a link to that video or that intro so we can check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.